New at six, a crash on a major roadway to and from the acreage in Loxahatchee can bring communities to a standstill, leaving drivers in a gridlock with not enough pavement to handle the traffic flow. And as WPTV News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers reports, residents hope a new project on Seminole Pratt Whitney Road could offer some future relief. Hundreds of cars and trucks travel on Seminole Pratt Whitney Road between Orange and North Lake Boulevards. There's a new construction project starting on this road. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a good thing. The um, problem is that the thoroughfare plan that was that had this plan was supposed to be done over about 10 years ago. Bob Morgan lives in the acreage. He says there's slow moving traffic in his community on a daily basis. From coming from North Lake and so forth in Coconut, it's backed up for almost almost a half a mile. Um, going west on North Lake to Seminole Pratt, that gets backed up to Great View, which is, I would assume, probably close to two miles. And if there's a crash in the area, drivers are limited on where to turn. Should have had these other projects, East West, North Lake, 60th Street, um, that was promised to be opened up when um, the community out there was created. Well, Palm Beach County is, is, is growing, and uh, with the addition of West Lake, Avenir, and Arden, out in western communities, um, the traffic has been really bad and uh, the county thought that it would be a good idea to provide some sort of relief. The project is going to include uh, widening from a two lane to a four lane divided roadway. Um, it's including new drainage, uh, new sidewalk and curb and bicycle lanes. Construction is expected to last about two and a half years. The first phase will be the ponds, then construction on the roadway will begin. The project scheduled to be finished in late 2024 or early 2025. Morgan hoping the construction project helps with the traffic flow. I really hope that they plan this out correctly because the traffic is going to be a nightmare. If, if they start more than just that project, which we are under the assumption they're going to, it's just going to be a nightmare for our residents to try to get out of here. Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5.